and I'm by no means a history expert. So this is my cursory knowledge of NASA's exploration of our moon. So lunar exploration began before 1961, but it was only in 1961 that NASA started testing rocket ships that would be capable of taking um, humans to the moon. So the goal of the Saturn uh, rocket project was to create vehicles that were capable of launching human beings into low earth orbit. So this started in 1961 with the Saturn I rocket. Um, there were more test rockets after that. Um, going out through the early 60s. And then in 1964, they started testing a different type of rocket, the Gemini. Uh, so this Gemini mission tested, um, it finally put humans in space. And it basically, basically, NASA wanted to know, could the astronauts take it? Could they fly on long missions? Uh, would they be okay in space? Um, and then they also needed to test equipment. So it's important to test your equipment in low earth orbit close to home before you send people all the way to the moon, right? You wanna make sure that you're capable of doing all the things that you'll need to do once you're in orbit around the moon or even landing. So the Gemini mission uh, went Gemini one through Gemini six. They all have these cool patches that um, kind of carry the stories of the astronauts and the situations that were happening. So I know the story of Gus Grisham and why this capsule is called the Molly Brown. I don't have time to tell that story, but it's really cool if you're curious about the history of astronauts. Um, so after this, the Saturn rockets start to be developed, the Gemini project continues, and all of this is setting the stage for the Apollo missions. The Apollo missions are probably the ones that you've heard of. Here's Neil Armstrong watching a, I think this is the Columbia shuttle launching um, from Florida. And Neil Armstrong, as you know, is the first person to have walked on the moon. So the Apollo missions had lots of objectives, not only to, just to put humans on the moon, like that's a cool thing to do, but more importantly, to gather materials from the moon so that we could radioactively date samples. So again, here's some cool patches. NASA is all about making patches that are tied to the stories of these astronauts. All right, so um, Apollo 11 and 12 were finally when people set foot on the moon. Apollo 13, as you probably know, was a disaster, but it was saved, nobody died, and there's a movie about it. And Apollo 14 and 15 were um, some of the last uh, missions where humans were on the moon. 16 and 17 are the very final ones. And then after that, NASA basically said, we met the objectives of the Apollo program, we achieved what we wanted to achieve. We don't need any more funding for 1974. So there's a lot of history that goes into the Apollo missions and all of this um, you may or may not argue was worth it. So um, on your homework this week, there will be a few questions about NASA's lunar exploration. You'll look at some of the things that um, kind of were born out of the space program and then uh, how much it cost and you yourself will uh, kind of weigh the costs and benefits of space exploration and answer the question for yourself. Do you think it was worth it?